Here we have a 2010 Volkswagen Tiguan Match TDI in black. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth, we're looking at about 4mm of tread there. Looking at the offside front alloy, does appear to be in a nice condition. Very minor little scuff towards the bottom of the alloy there. A couple of scratches, but no signs of any curbing or anything serious. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, I can see just one or two uh, light dinks. There's a very small dent in the rear door. You can see it in the door edge there. Um, looking around the offside front arch, there is a couple of light scratches around the arch. Again, just require polish. Um, as you can see, there is a scratch there. Uh, it clearly stands out. It's a little bit heavy here. I can get my nail into it there. Um, this, I can just about get my nail into as well. So that probably won't polish out. I might need some paint. Looking at the driver's mirror again, just with the odd one or two light scratches. Driver's door itself, of course, being black, it does tend to show everything under the sun. Um, it doesn't show any signs of any serious damage, there's no chips in the door edge, etc. Just the odd one or two light scratches once again around the door handle mainly, so a bit of a mop and polish. Driver's door sills are nice, you've got your roof bars on top. You also have a rear privacy glass. Rear passenger door, like I said, very small dent in the door edge there, it's not very heavy, um, so it shouldn't really be an issue. Um, door edge again, just one or two minor little nicks in there. Rear quarter and rear arch, all in nice condition, nothing to report there. And looking at the rear tyre, once again we're looking at about 3 to 4 mm tread. Looking at the offside rear alloy, again taking a good look at the condition, you've got a couple of minor little scuff marks, no signs of any curbing, etc. There. Moving towards the rear end of the car, looking at the rear bumper, as you can see, we've got rear parking sensors, no signs of any serious damage at all there. There's a couple of chips as you can see on the boot edge of the vehicle. So they are quite heavy, so that's going to require some smart repair there. A couple of light scratches that will require a polish. And once again, it's the same on that side, just a couple of chips in at the paintwork. Inside the boot, if we just open up the vehicle fully. Inside you've got your parcel shelf, it's in a nice clean condition as we can see. Underneath the tray here, you can see what your spare wheel and your locking wheel nuts in there, so that's all in good order. Moving around to your near side rear tyre. Once again, we're looking at about 3 to 4 millimetres of tread. And looking at the near side rear alloy. Again, a couple of scratches, one or two very minor little scuff marks, but nothing serious either. And looking at the near side of the vehicle, taking a good look. One or two light dinks again, but no signs of any dents. And again, the vehicle just benefits from a full body mop and polish, just to fetch out the majority of these light scratches. Apart from that though, the mirror is in nice condition. Front arch, again some light scratches. And the front tyre, we're looking at about 3 to 4 mm tread. Slight bit of wearing on the outer edge. Near side front uh, alloy. Again, a little bit of a scuff there, so you spoke. No curbing though, or anything serious there. We've run the front end, you've got your front parking sensors, you've got some light scratches on the front end or the front quarter of the near side. Apart from that, there's no sign of any damage. Again, there's a visible scratch there, I can just about get my nail into that one, so that might require a smart. A couple of stone chips will require some touch ins. And on the bonnet, as you can see, you've got a very large scratch on the bonnet here, I can get my nail into that, so again, that's quite deep, so just be wary of that. Take a look at the interior of the vehicle. Inside you've got full cloth interior, there's no signs of any damage. As you can see it's just a little bit dirty inside, just requires a good valet. Good valet is just uh, sorted out, back of the seats no damage. And again it doesn't look bad at all. A couple of scratches on the inside of the door there. Looking in the driver's seat. Again as you can see there's no signs of any damage at all to the cloth. Same with the front passenger seat as well, but it is just a little bit dirty inside, so again, good valet should sort this car right out. Stepping inside the vehicle itself, dashboard etc is fine, there's no scratches or marks, it's a nice large um, display. Steering wheel is in nice condition for its age. Two sets of keys with the vehicle, and just getting the car started. Starting the vehicle up, there's no issues at all there. Servicing 3,000 miles. Or 213 days, you can see it won't need a service for quite some time. 65,996 miles on the clock, no symbols appearing on the dash at all, and the car runs how it should. 
No issues at all with the radio, it is a DAB radio as well, obviously a CD there. No issues at all with the blowers, they're working fine, air conditioning comes out lovely and cold. So again, all in good working order. Manual box on this one, now taking a look at the documents. Looking at the V5, the vehicle's had one owner from new, which is spot on, so only one owner on the car. MOT, till September 3rd, 2015, so it will need an MOT quite soon. And looking at the service history. As you can see, just to top it off guys, looking at a full Volkswagen history, you've got 9,019, 29, 39, 49, and I believe it's your last one, yes it is, at 59,000 miles. So a full Volkswagen history. There we go guys, this is the 2010 Volkswagen Tiguan Match TDI in black.